That's what I want, a Camaro. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> I know what I can make. <laughs> Thank you. 
war. That's what I thought the first time. Yeah, he must have been in the war. Makes me think he had at least been somewhere with that helmet. Yeah. Yeah, but it looks like it's a German war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you like my Fourth Street crossing, huh? With that, that was crazy. I made it. Crossing Lincoln on the red. I mean, I know the right hand lanes were stopped, and you never know what's coming up. Oh, I looked past them, so I knew what was there before I got there. And I was still going slow just in case I misjudged. Yeah. But I judged it for a slow walk face. You've come to figure, usually if I go for it, I got it under control. That's us Colorado people, you know. You guys drive way over the speed limit on your highways, but you guys got these mountain roads up there on like um, the one that goes across the peaks in San Francisco, and it says 55 miles an hour on it. Now that road in Colorado mountains would be 35 miles an hour, and I used to fly up them at 60. And then I get out on those roads out there, and when you guys get on those roads, you guys don't know how to travel more than 25 on a, those roads. I'm like, get out of my... I saw the signs go, I don't have to speed. Get out of my way. You know, I, I drove a semi-truck too. I've been back and forth across the country a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> so you know some of the stuff I'm talking about. My dad had to back one out of a dirt road one time for 30 miles. Double trailer. That's fun. Yeah, that's tough. Double trailer. But you've seen me hauling double trailer. And you see how fast they go through things? Right? You know, I was going through things just as fast with boat trailers. I believe it. It's just knowing where your vehicle sits. Oh, and by the way, I'm in like 32K now. My channel keeps bumping even harder.